Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Photoshop Stable Diffusion plugin and the Automatic 1111. I'm also going to be troubleshooting some of the minor issues that happen when you install this. All right, let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is look for a drive to install this. Once you install this, you're not going to be able to move it around or else you're going to have issues. Pick a drive that you have enough storage. I'm going to go ahead and use this. And I would recommend at least something that has at least 50 just because you'll be downloading things later on that you're going to add to. So go ahead and create a folder. Name it Photoshop Stable Diffusion Plugin. Go ahead and go to your Creative Cloud. If you're going to be installing the Photoshop Stable Diffusion Plugin, you're going to need this. But if you're only going to need the Automatic 1111, you don't need to do this. Go ahead and type UXP. And this is a free program. You can download it. Go ahead and it'll say installer here. Go ahead and install it. Let's go back to the Photoshop. You're going to need to download the um, Automatic 1111. This is the website. I'll go ahead and link it. Download this. Once you download that, make sure you have it inside the Photoshop Stable Diffusion plugin. Or if you're not going to have a Stable Diffusion plugin, just name it Automatic 1111. Run it, install it. And this is important, make sure you install all these components inside that folder right here. Go ahead and install. Next, go ahead and click on this, double click on it. It's going to say that Python and some other components are not found, so it's going to download them for you. It'll take some time. It'll also save it. Gonna click yes. Okay, once you click yes, just let it load for a few seconds. And go ahead and close it. Go ahead and open it again. Once you open it, it'll go ahead and tell you that everything it's installed and you should see this go ahead and click yes and now you should see this downloading the model okay once it finishes downloading you'll see this go ahead and Type dash dash API and click save. Go ahead and launch the web UI. So once this finishes, you'll see this open up automatically. And this is your Stable Diffusion server. It took roughly about 10 minutes to install everything. What it installed was the web UI, the Git, desktop, and Python. Even though you're not using the Git desktop, you still need it. So everything installed properly. You have to leave this, just minimize it if you want. Let's go to the Stable Diffusion server. Now let's go to the extensions. Go to Available, Load From. And over here just type Control Net. And this is the one you want to install. Okay, next go ahead and download the forum. You see this here, go ahead and install. 
Okay, now go to the where it says install and go ahead and click apply and restart UI. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the Photoshop plugin and we're gonna go ahead and copy this code. Go back to the stable diffusion, extensions, install from URL. Go ahead and just paste it there. Okay, once it finishes, go ahead, go back and apply and restart UI. So if now you install the forum that we can do the videos, you also in, uh, install the Photoshop plugin and some other components that it needs. So when you go ahead and click here and type a prompt like, you should be able to generate an image. This will take depending on your graphics card, so it could, it could be fast or it could be slow. Normally for me, generating an image will take somewhere between two to five minutes. If you get this error here, go back to the web UI. Now over here, go ahead and after the API, go ahead and space dash dash and type, we're gonna type these dash dash no half and then dash dash disable nan check. That was the error I was getting. So you'll type that and just click save. Once you do that, go ahead and launch it again. And now you should be able to generate images. Once it finishes, you can either click here and it'll take you to your output folder, or you can also find it on the web UI over here. Go to where it says outputs. Well, once it finishes this, it'll create a folder with the outputs over here. And you'll find it in here. Let's go ahead and open Photoshop. Once you have Photoshop, one thing you need to do is go ahead and head over to Preferences, Plugins, and make sure that this is checked. Go ahead and click OK and exit Photoshop and reopen it again. We're going to head over here. On method number two, you'll see this download zip. Go ahead and download that. Make sure you download the zip, not this. Once it downloads, go ahead and move it to the Stable Diffusion folder. So over here, go ahead and create another folder inside the Stable Diffusion folder and name it Photoshop Stable Diffusion plugin or whatever you want. So we'll go ahead and click there and now drag the zip over there and extract it. Head back to your UXP. Add plugin. Go to that file where you just extracted and click on the manifest. And you should see that. You can go ahead and run it, click load, and you should see it pop up over here. Okay. You'll see this because it's we don't have the automatic 11, 11 running. We closed it, so it's fine. Once you see this, you'll see the A, it's red. That means the automatic 11, 11, it's not, it's not running the servers. Run the automatic 11, 11. Launch web UI. You can also enable this. If you have any problems, you can always enable this. Just click refresh and this will turn green. So now you can start. Over here you can have different type of diffusing models. Civit AI, it will have all types of different models and they're just based on that type of images. 
Just make sure you, you download the checkpoint. So all these that say checkpoint, you can download those. And they have a lot of different models depending on what type of generations you want to create. If you like Grand Theft Auto or things like that. Once you download those models, I have this over here. I back them up because if you ever delete this, all your models will be deleted as well. So I would recommend you to back them up. The way to install these models, you would go here to the web UI where it says models, stable diffusion, and you could just drag them and drop them over here. This is 62 gigs, so they, they, they could be pretty big, so make sure you have enough storage. That's why you need enough storage for that. Head back to the stable diffusion. Go ahead and just refresh it over here. And you should see all the models now. This is how you would install the automatic 11. And now that this is finished, you can go ahead and also in paint and out paint. This is how you would be able to use Stable Diffusion Photoshop plugin.